My name is Josh Spurl, and I'm the president and founder of Spurl & Associates Chartered Professional Accountants. Notice to reader financial statements require the CPA to determine if the reports are arithmetically correct and plausible. Reviewed financial statements require the CPA to perform analysis on the balances to ensure their correctness. Audited financial statements require the CPA to confirm the balances in the financial reports, often with third parties. When assembling reviewed or audited financial statements, generally the main fiduciary duty is not to the business owner, but actually to the bank. Generally, as notice to reader financial statements allow the CPA to focus on the client's objectives, the only reason to choose reviewed or audited financial statements is because a third party who is providing financing has insisted on a review or audit. It's not unusual these days for notice to reader financial statements to allow the business owner to obtain loans up to $10 million. Thus, the limiting factor on obtaining a loan is no longer the type of statement. Banks have been relaxing the requirement to have reviewed or audited financial statements to obtain a loan. Thus, loans that used to require reviewed or audited statements no longer require these types of statements. It's important to review the loan agreements to see if this requirement still exists. As reviewed and audited statements are now a lower priority for most banks, most banks are now requesting quality interim statements, so it's important for the entrepreneur to have up-to-date interim records. Normally, this is now the limiting factor in obtaining a loan, rather than year-end financial statements. As the cost for audits has significantly increased over the last decade, the cost of assembling an audit for a small not-for-profit is now a significant part of their budget. The board should review the necessity for having an audit before paying this cost. If you absolutely do require a review or audited financial statements, and you still want the benefit of having a CPA on your side to make effective business decisions, often the prudent thing to do is to have one CPA firm who's going to perform the review or an audit, and another CPA firm who's available to help you with those day-to-day -day decisions who is not limited by independence restrictions.